Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite creator who really needs a haircut, Gardner. I know that this is gonna be kind of a controversial video because there are a lot of people who have some very strong opinions about uh, PHP, uh, but you know what? I actually really like PHP. I'm a web developer. I really do like PHP. Uh, <laughs> the fact of the matter is PHP has a bad reputation because it gives you a lot of slack that you can very easily get yourself into trouble with. Um, but by that same token, I think that's why it's kind of fun. You have to kind of know what you're doing with PHP uh, or else you'll get yourself into some very sticky situations really quickly. Yeah, PHP is... Uh, is a good language though, and I really like it. Uh, and that's why I'm excited that there's now uh, PHP version eight available. And uh, I wanted to talk about some of the really cool new features that are coming with version eight uh, that I'm excited for. So let's talk about it. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, it's not strongly typed. So therefore PHP is a bad uh, choice for anything. Well, you know what? The web is not typed at all. Like it's, the web is literally just strings of text. I, personally, I don't think that it makes sense to have, you know, a server side language that is strongly typed when you're basically exclusively dealing with strings. Now you can parse the strings into types uh, of data and you can do other things like that, which is what PHP is for. Uh, but this is actually a really interesting uh, new feature. Str sane string and number comparisons. Uh, in previous versions of PHP, if you were to perform a weak comparison, which is two equal signs, between the integer zero and the string foobar, for example, it would return true. Uh, I can't tell you how many times that actually has thrown me off. Um, it didn't make sense. Thankfully, this has been solved. Now PHP's default behavior is to check if the string is numeric, uh, it have, if it has numbers in it, and if it does, it does a number comparison. Otherwise, it converts the number to a string and then compares the strings. Uh, that's a much more sane way of doing it. So if you were to do uh, the integer zero, versus uh, to weak compared against uh, foobar. Uh, there are no uh, numeric characters in the string foobar. Therefore the string, uh, the number zero would actually be converted to a string zero and then compared and they would not match. Now this would be higher up, much higher up on my list of awesome uh, PHP eight features. But the problem is I can see this having like in, insane potential to break a lot of existing uh, scripts that are written out there. Uh, tons of weak comparisons are now going to uh, potentially change the result, uh, which means legacy code written in PHP might break. Uh, that is kind of a thing though with PHP, like everybody kind of expects that to happen. Uh, so yeah, I, that's why I'm not putting it uh, higher up on the list. Consistent errors for internal functions. Uh, this is actually really interesting because it used to be that if you supplied an invalid type uh, of as an argument to a PHP internal function, you'd get a warning instead of a type error. Uh, this has changed in PHP 8. For example, if you were to provide uh, an empty array to sterlen, which is like a way of checking how long a string is, it would throw a type error now, but uh, previously, it would just throw a warning and potentially the script would just keep executing and uh, you'd have like a null result and things could get wonky. Uh, and similarly, if you did array chunk with a second parameter of negative one, uh, it would now throw a value error where before it would just throw a warning. Um, this is going to be really handy for development and debugging. Uh, and I can also see this causing a lot of issues with existing scripts out there, uh, especially since type error will abort execution uh, where uh, the former behavior would just let the script keep going. Uh, so, Interesting. This is going to be interesting to see how it, how uh, legacy scripts handle these kind of errors. So the next thing on my list is union types. Uh, because uh, PHP doesn't have strong typing, um, you can have a, an array that is an integer or a float, and then you can convert that float to a string, or you could uh, change the, the string to an array or even like change it to an object. There's, there's no reason you can't do any of that, but you can actually do strong typing in PHP. But now there are union types where you can actually assign uh, a variable to say that I only want this to be a integer or a float. I don't want it to be anything other than those two things. So being able to declare your variables as a certain type or as two or more different types, uh, is really handy. Uh, it's going to be handy for people who like to code in that way, especially. 
Uh, next up is null safe operators. Basically the way this works is by using the null safe operator here, you can actually access uh, parts of an object, like either a method or a property that uh, might not exist. And if it doesn't, it won't throw an error. It will just return null. Um, that's super useful uh, because doing a lot of error checking and error handling and stuff like that, it can get really confusing, especially when you have to nest uh, checks to make sure that a, a part of a an object exists. It's it's very confusing. It's not super elegant. This is a much more clean way of checking if a part of an object exists or not. This is a really cool feature, but I wish that it was a little bit more flexible. All the documentation I've seen uh, is about accessing uh, properties or methods inside of an object. And I would kind of like this to just work with arrays or any kind of uh, nested hierarchy. Constructor property promotion. Uh, this is going to be really, really awesome. Uh, there's a ton of uh, examples in my own code and in code across the, uh, the web. When you're creating an object in PHP, uh, basically the way it works is you, you can uh, declare your variables that are part of the properties that are part of the object. And then you have to accept uh, arguments when you're creating the uh, class in the constructor method. And then you have to actually assign the value of the arguments to the actual properties in the, in the class. Um, it's super annoying and uh, you do it all the time. So now PHP eight allows you to actually just declare uh, the values of the thing right in the arguments uh, in the constructor class. And it just automatically assigns those values as they are, uh, as the constructor is being executed. I think that's super awesome. I'm really excited about that. Besides the fact that it's gonna save me a ton of boilerplate code and a ton of time, it's just gonna be easier to create new classes in PHP. And I love that. Uh, next up is attributes. Attributes is something that has never been natively supported in PHP, but it's basically uh, metadata that exists uh, alongside your anything. It, classes, functions, methods, uh, parameters, properties, classes, variables. It, it's a way of like storing metadata that the rest of the program can read uh, at runtime. Uh, using the reflection API. Uh, this is something that I'm super stoked about. I'm gonna try uh, a bunch of cool ideas that I have on how to use attributes. I've never actually used like PHP doc, which is a way to um, to do this in a, in a non-native way. The problem with PHP doc is that you, you end up uh, writing your attributes in like code comments. It doesn't get uh, checked uh, before the program is actually executed. So you can like end up with a lot of like errors happening because uh, the, you know, you might've made a typo in your comment. And then when it goes to parse that it, it has a typo in it and it's not going to work the way you expect. Um, this is a native way to actually handle attributes in PHP. Uh, and I think that this is super cool. I, I have this idea of, of how I think I'm going to rewrite or like rewrite a part of the router system that I'm using. Uh, I, I think this is really sweet. <laughs> All right, next up is trailing commas in parameter lists. Uh, I've got to say, I've gotten the habit of writing um, arrays with like a, you know, you open the open the array and then you have the property and a comma and then a second property and a comma and then close the array. That's, I mean, that's a good practice, especially if you're putting uh, the elements of an array, in, you know, on new lines. Um, because then if you go to add a new uh, element, and you wanna like commit your changes, you're only changing one line instead of two in your git commit. But the problem is when you try, you know, when you're used to writing your elements in your array with trailing commas, and then you go to actually, you know, call a function and you add a trailing comma, uh, well, then you have an issue because it'll throw an error. I can't tell you how many times I've absentmindedly done this myself. And the fact that the language is actually becoming tolerant to this makes me super excited. Uh, Stir contains, stir starts with, and stir ends with. Uh, these are functions that I've actually written for myself, but the fact that uh, they're becoming in integrated functions into PHP itself means that uh, I don't have to maintain this code myself. That, that makes me really happy. Named arguments. Now, named arguments is something that I'm like, really, really stoked about. We're getting to like the highest tier of, of awesome features in PHP 8 here. So let's say you have a function like this, right? You have name, color equals red and number equals three. Now, if you're gonna call this function, you could just say do something and then 
name and provide just a name uh, and then that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, you don't have to uh, provide the color or the number because the arguments uh, are linear here. So if you were to say Gardner Green 8, uh, then it would th those would associate uh, respectively to the order that they're written in the function. Um, but what if you want to just use uh, say the name and the number and not the color, uh, just have the colors remain the same. Well, there really hasn't been a good way to do that. Um, outside of PHP eight. I mean, if you wanted to do that, you would have to actually like look up the documentation or the code that you had written and find what the default value is and then just provide that as an argument. That's not elegant and it's not fun. You could also write your function in a way that accepts uh, associative uh, arrays and then destructure the array into uh, the you know constituent values. I don't like that method either. So the way that this works now is you're actually gonna be able to provide named values for these, uh, for function calls. So, so saying something like number colon three means that the PHP uh, engine is intelligent enough to know, ah, number three, provide the default color of red. That's really awesome to me. I think named arguments might be the coolest feature uh, of PHP if it weren't for the next feature that I think is just a little bit cooler. The match expression. The match expression is similar to a switch block, except that uh, the value of the match expression can actually be stored as a variable or returned uh, from a function call. It does strict comparisons rather than uh, the weak comparisons we've talked about. Branches only support a single expression and the syntax looks very much like an associative array. I've actually written a helper function for myself that actually basically works just like this, uh, but this is a much more elegant way of doing it. This new expression will allow me to refactor so much of my code to make it simpler and easier to read. In the documentation for these changes, the switch code that the match expression uh, was meant to replace is all too familiar. I write so much PHP. I read it, I write it every day. I actually really love PHP. I know a lot of people out there hate it, but I think it's a great and fun language. I, I'm probably gonna end up using most of these new features and that means that I'm gonna have to upgrade <laughs> some of the stuff I've written so that it works with PHP 8. Match expressions, named arguments, attributes, these all should be game changers for the language. But I wanna know what you guys think. Do you like PHP? Do you uh, think you're gonna end up using PHP 8? Let me know in the comments. I wanna thank my patrons for making everything that I do on this channel possible. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thanks guys. If you wanna help support the show, you can support the show over on Patreon with a monthly contribution. You can also pick up a t-shirt or do anything like that. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or hit the subscribe button, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now and have a blessed day.